Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video where today we are going to find out if it is proper to capitalize every line in your poem. This is coming up because on the latest episode of Slee Ricketts, this was a topic of conversation. They talked about it for a little bit and then went on to some other shit. Um, and then I think in the Secret Show episode this week, they went into it a little bit more. Not a lot. Um, but the idea of it was really intriguing to me, and here's why. Because apparently... The idea of um, capitalizing the first line of, or the beginning of each line in a poem came from not really because poets wanted to do that or anything like that, but it came as a added effect of using a word processor. So when people first started writing poems in like Microsoft Word or something like that, when computers were, personal computers were going everywhere, Word as a program thinks you're a fucking idiot. And so it constantly tries to do things that you have not asked it to do. And one of those things is capitalizing the first, or capitalizing the first letter of a word every time you hit return. So that next word is going to be capitalized because obviously you're just too stupid to remember that you did not capitalize that word. And then um, probably I'm going to guess what happened is people were like trying to fix that. And then eventually we're like, you know what, dude, I'm fucking tired. I don't want to fucking do this anymore. And their laziness turned into what became the first letter of each line capitalized okay that's really interesting to me um i run into that problem when i'm writing poems on my phone like in notepad because notepad capitalizes each thing for you like each line and then when i send those poems over to my scrivener file um scrivener like I have, like usually I go back in and take all those capitalizations out. Um, sometimes I get lazy and don't fucking care. And I've had books where some poems are like capitalized the first letter of each line and others aren't. And there was a period where I was like, oh, this is kind of cool because then it shows if I wrote this on my computer or if I wrote this on my phone, but then I just stopped caring. And so for the most part, now I don't do any of that. Um, I don't worry about it. I don't think about it. So I usually um, keep things in all lowercase um, as far as capitalization at all goes. Um, I started to capitalize um, proper nouns. So, like, if I'm saying somebody's name, I'll tend to capitalize it. And I used to not do that. And the reason why is because, like, I started noticing there's some people's names that are um, certain things. So, like, for instance, if I was writing a poem and um, Bunny Wild was in my poem and I wrote, like, um, I was walking through the field with Bunny like people would probably assume that I'm talking about a little furry rabbit, but I'm not. I was talking about Bunny Wild the poet, but like, I don't know. Like then that's like, well, maybe it's better that people think about it. That's kind of interesting. So like, it just depends on what you want to do. Um, as far as punctuation goes, I go back and forth on punctuation. Um, I typically don't use really any punctuation if I could get away with it. Um, I use line breaks and enjambments as punctuation because it kind of serves the same purpose, although that is an argument for a different day. 
I know people who are very adamantly against doing that. But, like, I try not to use periods. I usually use, like, stanza breaks for periods. And in my early stuff, I didn't use anything for anything. Like, and um, I think as a reader, that gets confusing. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm assuming it gets confusing. You let me know in the comments down below if that's confusing or not. I, I do use question marks if I'm asking a question in a poem. I, I used to use exclamation points, but um, I think what I've gone to since is all caps so I don't know like that and again this is all like whatever you want you're playing with language you're playing with how words are used you know it's completely up to you how to do it but I'm curious to hear what you guys do and like how you guys put your stuff together and what your thoughts are so leave them down below and if you dig this kind of shit there are, because, like, this is, like, there's a Poetic Anarchy lesson on this, um, or a talk about this. So, um, if you join the Anarchy crew, there's, there's like, over a hundred, like, lessons and shit like that. Um, kind of like this, but with more, like, here's what you need to do now, so do that and, like, let me know about it. Um, and there's also workshops that um, they've all been recorded, they're up there for you, and um, new workshops um, are happening all the fucking time. And I think we are pushing for Sundays now for um, the Anarchy Crew workshops. But yeah, so click the join button, pick a tier, Anarchy Crew, get you all that shit. My new book, Fuck You, um, you probably... I don't know if you've seen the video for this yet, so I don't know. We'll, we'll get to that. That'll be up on my Etsy shop um, soon here. Like always, everybody, type hard, keep buying my books, and I'll talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.